most freak nasty ass room is this? Oh! What? Is this Iron Man? I'm here. This is about to be the weakest jump scare right. of all time. Oh my! Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going. Bruh, I would have opened the door and jumped out the car. Shorty is talking so much. <laughs> Ain't nobody getting me on the hook, I tell you that. Hey, Badil and Mardi, what's going on, guys? And welcome back. The casting of Frank Stone. Let's get into it. Alright. First things first, get the blick out. I ain't playing this game. I ain't playing it. Fuck all that. What's bro's name? Thomas. Thomas. Come back, bro. We going down here together. Hmm. You know, you know, you know, th that good old Resident Evil. The, the, somehow, some way, the ladder always must break. Like, we can't just lean that ish against the, uh. Hold on. Let me. T pick up my hat. Pick up the hat, big fella. Pick it up. Like, we can't just lean this bit. Where did the wall go? Like, we can't just lean this big against the wall or something. Like, what? We can just lean it and st We can grab that. We can make that jump. Okay, smooth, whatever. We're gonna act like we can't make that jump. What do you mean by that? What the fuck was that? This has got to be it. Nigga, we don't get paid enough for this bullshit. You got me fucked up, big fella. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't even gonna lie. Hold on, hold on. Y'all hear that? <coughs> what is what is coming, bro? Oh hell no! Y'all got me fucked up. You know, why is the cop black? I'm just gonna be real, like, there's no way a black cop is putting himself in a situation like this. This is dumb. Ah, this place turns my stomach. Absolutely not. Nope. <laughs> You got me so fucked up, it's not even funny. You know, if you think I'm crawling through there, you're on crack. God damn if that, small spaces. If, oh my god, hold on, let me keep my finger on the trigger. That dog is coming. My, my ninja systems are going off. Skill check. Oh lord. Go to no. shit. Did I not click it? No. Well. Did I not click it, bro? I swear. Hold on, I just don't, I don't, I lose my flashlight because I got a cut on my hand? Bro got a cut on his hand and all of a sudden he can't use a flashlight? No, shut up. Fuck that. Oh, shit, I didn't even mean to swear. Climb, just... Go, go up, go up. Whose freak nasty ass room is this? What are you trying to get into? Get the revolver. Lord, this is hellish. Son of a fuck. I hear the baby. Who is this? 
bro making this. Um, um, I'm taking the ramp. Fuck. Uh, I ain't taking that ladder. Freak nasty around the corner. I'm gonna break something. Get the blink. Oh, what? Is this Iron Man? Who am I fighting? Look at this dude. Look, look, he got the room all red. He's got it. He's, why is you touching me like this, bro? Get your hands off me. Shoot him, shoot. Bro, you gotta be joking. Yaga, Franklin, Franklin, get your hands off me. Uh... God damn it. Franklin, Franklin Bartholomew, I swear down, bro. If I get up and get my gun, you're dead. What is this cop's name? Sam? Samuel. Samuel Bartholomew Jackson, I swear, if you don't punch this dude, how are we losing to Franklin? He done stuck me to the... Oh, this is bonkers. This is bonkers. Did I call him Samuel Jackson? <laughs> Why is that the first day that game? <laughs> uh... I have to scream every time. It, it's... Look at this freak nasty! Uh, Y'all thought, boy. Come on. Samuel. Samuel, you got one bullet in there? Yeah, I'm gonna miss the first shot. Yeah, it's over. It's wrapped. I ain't even gonna hold you. It's over. Y'all fuck me over with these skill checks. Bop. Back up off them. Yup. 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 That's what I do. I didn't even shoot. Oh my god, this skill check. I'm gonna fall in. I'm gonna fall in and I'm gonna break something. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break something. Oh my god. Damn! What the hell happened to him? Sleep tight, motherfucker. Yeah, what about you? You gonna have a good nap too? What's good? The baby, Samuel, oh my. Okay, so this time I'm not gonna. Oh, I have to click space. Okay, this is this is definitely gonna be a better fight. No. Come on, Freak Nasty. Throw some shit at me so I can beat that ass. I'm prepared now. I got my space bar on lock. Look at this dude. Look at him. You're not catching me lacking today. Come on, give me my give me my quick time. Stop. Sam, Samuel Jackson. Bob. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is a different fight. Oh, this is a different fight. Oh, this is a different fight now. You, you got to be kidding me. After all that, saving the flashlight, he still gets me. <laughs> I'm assuming Frank Stone just doesn't care and he's gonna come back.
Look at freak nasty one, two, three. One, two, and three for me that ain't a struggle. But DJ D Rack really need a side hustle. The bell and buzzer got to go. Nick Cannon, get your man on another show. Alright, on that dead by daylight. Girl, what's your name? It's On that okay. pain. It's okay. <sighs> okay. I need. Let me stop. What the fuck kind of cup is that? This <laughs> medieval ass cup. <laughs> Who sleeps? First of all, I sleep naked. I can't sleep with clothes on, bro. That's dead. <laughs> Who's the real freak nasty? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. So clearly this is a dream. Oh my god, you better not with that Freddy Krueger bullshit. What's up, yo, shorty here? You see, this is why you gotta wear a bonnet to go to sleep. So you don't wake up looking crazy. Do white people wear bonnets? They I should. This is right. I feel, I mean, bonnets might be a cultural thing. I don't even know what's going on in the show. It might be a cultural thing, but I still, I, I think everybody should wear it. It's probably just better for your hair. That way you don't wake up looking absolutely insane. And that way if you do your hair the night before, you know what I'm saying? It didn't hurt. But you probably get clowned on or something. I feel like it shouldn't... I just feel like it shouldn't be a cultural thing. I'm just gonna keep talking about it, I guess. Because what the hell is going on? Y'all are losing me. This dream is weak. Pick it up. Damn, we just forget what our mom looked like more and more. Is that a Mac? I bought a MacBook just to never use it. And now I'm trying to break it so I could play Pokemon emulators on it. You know, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm about to erase that hoe and just put Pokemon, nothing but Pokemon emulators. They ain't never gonna find out who, is, who it is. So they watch this and they're like, got your ass, dummy. Y'all not doing it. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> Nintendo about to put niggas in jail for like 10 years because of that shit. Hell no, nah, not me. I'm about, to just, I'm about to just get me a whole new DS and play them old games. What? What's going on? Franklin? Mom? This about to be nasty. What's wrong? Look at the listen to her cry. It's demonic. <laughs> Bro, her cry demonic. I'm here. This about to be the weakest jump scare right. of all time. Y'all not getting me with this dumb and Oh my. Dead by daylight ain't playing. Shorty, where's you at? You on a plane this whole time?
She visits my grave while the night winds wave. I know you're not driving down this road right now, baby girl. You can do this, Maddie. Just stay on the right side where? of the road. Maddie, where are we? The left side is the right side. Maddie, where the fuck are we headed right now? You're losing me. Why are we going alone is the real question. Oh, hell, 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 is that a hitchhiker? Uh, no. Let's stop fucking. Uh, she already came alone. <laughs> I'm uh, no. I'm not about to go on this journey alone. If she dies, I'm I'm restarting. I don't care. I don't care because I don't want to stop. Uh, hi. <clears throat> so, uh, you need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. Is it weird that I trust her less now? Yeah, so... Do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So it's not out of your way? Uh, guess not. I'm not gonna lie, in real life, I can't say I'm stopping. I can't, I can't say I'm stop- I can't. First of all, in real life, I wouldn't find myself on this road, so, you know. I just didn't want her to go on this trip alone. I just feel so much safer knowing that somebody else could die in my place. It's like using substitute so in Pokemon. So we're both going to the same place, huh? What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere Jody, else. Jody, stop doing all that yapping and pay attention. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or... I did not. Oh. Bitch, I should've so, um, just left your dumb ass over where there. Where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. Paris? That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon, once upon a time. That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. One of them or is? What? kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. Oh. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going... Bruh, I would've opened the door and jumped out the car. Shorty is talking so much! College. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Um... Hold on, hold on! That's not enough time. I can't even read the options. Thing that takes you all over the place. I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh wow! I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> Had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well. I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Mmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Word. Hey, take a look. Fuck that. I'm so glad I picked her up. <laughs> I don't even care if she was gonna kill me. I think we've Forget. come to the end of the rainbow. Do doing this by yourself is so dead. Hell nah. 
Now, I'd never go to a place like this by myself. That's completely out the question. Fuck all that. Okay, this place kinda has got definitely got a little too, uh, on the nose. Wendy got that saggy boob. I was gonna say a little uh. too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock, or...? I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. I know you did not just ring that shit like that. Get back in the car, Linda. We're going home. I ain't gonna hold you. This is dead. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? I'm just watching Linda. She finna get snatched. Watch. It's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way is it. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Cause you're what? a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then Bitch, you going first then? Here we go. Why Apparently. am I going in first? Why am I going in first? Don't let her go don't let her close that door. Leave it open. We need a we need a blitz. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Oh, I no longer trust her. I don't like the way she closed that door. Open it. Hello? Yeah, doing Let's this by yourself around. is dead. Yeah, doing this by yourself would have been dead. I ain't gonna lie. I'm so glad um, I picked her up. Hello? It's a video game. We've arrived. Damn, Maddie. Maddie got it. She quick as hell. God damn. Oh, it's the same thing. Well, you know what this means. Linda, I ain't gonna lie. You you my substitute. If something come after me, you gotta go. I ain't about to let Maddie die for nothing. This weak ass manner. Really digging these creepy cottage core vibes. <laughs> Do you play? Um, bitches, you drunk? How did you? Don't sneak up on me like that. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, y'all got me so. Y'all got me uh, so. Yeah. You've seen a real secret passage before? It's fairly common for old mansions like these to have concealed corridors yeah, to allow the servants to come and go while being seen as little as possible. You got some of these in your house too, huh? Secrecy is a privilege of the rich stolen from the rights of the oppressed. Okay. Bitch, what? <laughs> what? I'm ready to confirm that, as per your instructions, I've asked the staff to take leave and vacate the grounds already. Hold on. So all the staff aren't here. Okay, I recall hearing mentions that your visitors are all collectors. Maddie's a collector? With a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable, even desirable, to keep one trusted staff member on hand to handle any... Okay, precious items, if required. I recommend myself for the duty. Who the hell is this? He recommends himself for the duty and do not consider it below my station, for I would release the. I would relish the chance. I don't like the way this dude talking. He gon' relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items. That sounds like he trying to rob you. Send his ass hey, home. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have 
forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. This is you not Looking reading forward the... to doing business with you. Huh. That's today. Looking forward to doing business. If you mean what you promise, I'm sure evening will be worth both our wiles. Be on the 13th. And please call me. Yes, got a number of black cabs. What? What the fuck is that? What is a black cat? Okay. What? I think this is kind of freaking me out. Right, but the letter was weird, right? Arriving business connoisseur. He's a snob. Yeah. It's a little odd. Yuck. Oh god. This is when some guy with a chainsaw rushes up from Bitch, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Why would you say that? This is this is why I picked Shorty up. Yeah, I was not finna come here by myself. That's dead. Mm-hmm. Made a business decision. I had to make a pimp decision. And the pimp decision was don't do this by myself because that's dead. I'd rather take the chance. I ain't even got <laughs> hell nah. <laughs> nah, bruh. Let's just get back in the car and go home. Y'all got to be so fucked up. Here we go. Why why is the red why is the light red? Hmm? Word. Hmm. Kid the must huntress. have had a creepy doll on their Christmas list. That's 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 that dead by daylight. Yep. I feel like that is foreshadowing. Put that dumbass thing down, please. Shorty, is you coming down here or what? This seems a bit more lively. Hold on, bruh. Where is she at? Why is the light red? Why are y'all so dramatic? She's gone. Word, 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 word. So now I'm just gonna get hoed. Bet. I'm about to get hoed so bad. Probably do this. How? How did you get down here? Keep your eye on Miss Filmmaker Fucking Paris or whatever the hell her name is. Ladies, hello, hello, welcome. Hello. This dude is trying to have an orgy. Didn't exactly what get explicit have? directions as to what to do Just... once I got here, so. <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie. Beautiful name. Short for Madeline. Madison, Madison actually. Ah. Huh. Middle name, Lexington? What? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Casual? Who's this? Um, casual or... What the hell does that say? Let's say this. I don't trust this dude. This place is like super duper creep town, right? It's don't not see just short for me. Stanley. I ain't word for Stanley. I was taking a look around before, and let's just say I'm surprised it hasn't been condemned by the local authorities. Yikes. Lights don't even seem to work right. How do you mess up lights? That's like basic modernity. It is right? voice change? Am I bugging? Right.
Hey, yeah. Yep. The state of this place doesn't exactly reflect well on our mysterious host. Hold on, I swear his voice changed. Am I oh, bugging? Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, okay, sure. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, only if you call me Stan. <laughs> sure. Bruno Stanford III. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. Why the hell would we... Okay, fuck wow. all that. I didn't realize you were like famous, famous. Famous construct, and I'm not. Oh no, there I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon, transcend it. Blood on the brain, mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, okay, stop you the dick are the riding. quintessential countercultural cinematic oh my God, icon bro. of our times. I appreciate got the it. kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon. Wait, didn't you two come here together? Oh, no, I mean, yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. I'm sorry, I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. I'm sure what if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? I ain't gonna lie, he got game. His game. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host, wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? All right, now we a trio. Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it involves money and fast cars and trading. But well, nothing illegal, obviously. Uh oh, yep. obviously. Res <laughs> a bit of like, bedtime reading. My friend, hum bum 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 bum. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> the guardian of the forest grind up kill what the hell destroy him before the yeah i'm not about to read any of this this is crazy talking about something that looks like some murderous shit hell no i'm cool i don't need that on my mental There's nothing else. It's literally just the book. Samuel, get get out get out of my get out of my way, damn. Huh. Movie poster. Hey, nope. either of you heard of murder mail? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Shinobi. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? It's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times. And each time, the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements. Why? Like... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. The CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. And it pays to know this kind of stuff. I like Stan, he's cool. At first I was like, what the hell? But then but then I had to respect his game. I had to respect his game and now he's he's kinda cool. He's kinda cool. Uh 
supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am taking the theatrics. <laughs> Good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison. Would you also like a refreshment? Uh, no, me. I'm Maddie. cool. Oh, my mistake, Maddie, it is. Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And no, I am who, who are, are you? you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Bitch, what? What do you mean nice you call yourself? Augustine when was the last time Lieber. you called yourself that? Now that we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. No, me. Uh, no, that's okay. Are you sure? It's very good. It can confirm. Um, yeah, flying and drinking doesn't agree with me. Thanks, though. I'm not drinking. Y'all not catching me lacking. Stand by to get body. That drink about to have a I know it's been quite a up. long journey for you all to come You're not here about to me with that I ish. hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do show me yours. Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. <laughs> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that oh, right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly, should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one-of-a-kind value. Not quite. Only one is real. I... I, I never knew what it was from. What the hell is this? You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if Which I don't is? want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? I have to she apologize got burns. again, but she there got burns are urgent matters on her I arm. must attend to in my private reliquary. You are welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing all in due course, Ms. Castle. <laughs> she got me twisted. I'm sorry, I can't take her serious. Her short blonde hair and her accent. Nah, ain't no way she's about to body me. No chance. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. Sam Green! Disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. What have we gotten ourselves into? Is he trying to wake up? He 
just don't get it. Do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> Damn, literally. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up. You can torture us. You better cut your damn throat. Every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. Just don't touch my balls. Never defeat our spirit. Hold on, hold on, dear, hold on. No, <laughs> oh, no, no, my sister. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Just say no, I'm not going. I'd rather die. You the hell? You're not going to take my sister. Fail to see what truly makes us human. I'd rather die a thousand miserable deaths than betray someone I love. My answer is no. And there is nothing you can do to change my mind. All right, you alien scum. Do your worst. I can take it. Slice. Oh, Lord! This dude just... This... What's going on back there? God damn! Oh, Lord! And cut! How's that? That was amazing. Really? It wasn't like too much? No way! Because I felt like maybe I oversold it a little? You gotta play to the cheap seats, Jaime. That's where the money is. Rad. Thank you, How Chris. How did we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. You can check the gate on these little Super 8s? Um, no, actually. Hold on, we gotta the end this. doesn't come off, so. Somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library. I'm just trying to take the craft seriously. The craft? Jeez Louise. <laughs> so, are, are we good, or what? Yeah. I mean, it looked great. How did the blood gag look? Um, well... Linda, you did get... The blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting, not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. True, that's fair. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. <laughs> or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? You, 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 you're doing too much. I'm going with director. I trust Linda's judgment. Of course. Chris, you're the director. But, like, part of the job is working with people you trust and... I trust Linda's judgment on the camera stuff, you know? Let's just shoot both versions and then we can see which way works better in the edit. And it'll be my way. Because I'm the director. I hate people like that, but Hold you gotta deal still, with it with in the acting world. Off. We'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Ugh. Oh, it's like spearmint cough syrup. 
<laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. I didn't know that was my we girl. I wouldn't have said... Again. Why didn't y'all let me know? Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Hold on. All right, we're going to end it here for today. Thank you. And later.